go to the WebAdvisor main page at webadvisor.waketech.edu. If all you want to do is look at the schedule of classes, you do not need to log in with a user ID and password. Simply click on the Future Students category and on the next page choose Search for Curriculum Sections. For this demonstration you will click on the Login tab at the top of the page. Next, enter your username and password. Then click Submit at the bottom of the page. You are now logged into WebAdvisor. Next, click on the Current Curriculum Students category. Locate the heading for Registration and click on Search for Curriculum Sections. On the Search for Curriculum Sections page, click on the drop-down arrow in the term box and select the term for which you wish to search. You must also select at least one of the other search parameters to get search results. For this demonstration we will go to the subject column and choose CIS for Information Systems. If you know the course number, you may put it in the course number column. If you do not know the course number, it is okay to leave that area blank. Then click on Submit at the bottom of the page to get your search results. Check the Status column to determine if the section is open. This means that seats are available for registration. Check the Section Name and Title column to locate and record the course synonym. The synonym is the six-digit number that identifies the specific section. The synonym appears beneath the course prefix and number. If you choose Express Registration when you are authorized to register, for example, instead of having to type in CIS 111 and Section 0002, you can just type in 045247 and the system knows that you mean that course section. Check the Location column, which will show the campus where the section is taught or if it is an online class. Check the Meeting Information column to learn the days and times the section meets. Check the Printed Comments column to see if the section is restricted or other relevant information. To determine if a class has any prerequisites or co-requisites, click on the section name and title to bring up a second page of information. Scroll down the page till you see the prerequisites and co-requisites boxes. Close the window to return to the Section Selections Results page when you are finished.